there were more basketball games last night. I had the privilege of being at this next one. Lakers Spurs. <laughs> Woo! You know what? I will say this. I had a moment where I, I realized like that's the Anthony Davis that everyone gets excited about. Everyone talks about. Everyone wants to see uh, 30 points, 18 rebounds. Chandler, what has changed? And are we getting too quick to real to think that he's back back? No. And this is a like you said, this is the Anthony Davis that we've been waiting on. This is his team. LeBron is LeBron, but LeBron's out of his prime. LeBron LeBron is on his way out. This is Anthony Davis's team. And for them to be successful, he's got to be this version of him. You know, obviously 30 and 18 is a great game, but we're seeing him with LeBron out kind of, you know, be that monster, do it all for them. And it's helping. They're not playing the toughest schedule right now. They, they haven't had the craziest teams come in there, but no offense to your Spurs, but, uh, How dare you. <laughs> yeah, but this, is the, this is the MVP caliber, Anthony Davis that they need. And that makes them an actual threat. So I'm, I'm happy for him. They got to find a way to, to have him continue to do this and go through when LeBron does come back. Cause they're only going to get better when LeBron comes back. But this is this is what he has to do for this team to be successful. Can I can I go like radio show morning show host yes, guy? Like are do it. are the Lakers better without LeBron James? Yes! Uh, they're obviously <laughs> not like even in his advanced age. But what 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 you do see is they're <clears throat> absolutely featuring Anthony Davis in ways they generally don't when LeBron is there. And that's something they're going to have to continue going forward. They have to figure out a way to use AD in the pick and roll as often as they do right now. He's a monster. He's destroyed three teams in a row doing this <laughs> 30 and 18. He made it look easy. It's for whatever reason, he's also playing with a little bit more physicality over the last week. And that's kind of what you want. When you watch AD, that's what you're always asking for. Like, yo, if, if AD had Giannis's physicality, he'd be the best player in the world. Hmm. Um, he's looking like the best player in the world in the last week. He needs to be featured like this in the offense. And the, the thing about it is LeBron can do it. LeBron can absolutely run pick and roll and find him in his spots, whether it's in dunker, whether it's on post-ups, or whether it's rolling to the rim where he's a monster. But he looks great. For the first time in a few seasons, he looks great. He's, he's found his way back into shape. And this is the AD that the Lakers absolutely need if they're going to go, you know, maybe pass the play-in, maybe in the actual playoffs. Stop it. They're going to need that. <laughs> Stop it. I mean, look, they're finally going on the road. And, and, yes, they do play the Spurs again two more times this week, Friday and Saturday. It's a crazy bit of schedule. But do you – okay, so LeBron returns realistically. I know there will be some shifting and some and some changes, but can AD just stay this version of himself? Because if I'm a Lakers fan, it's fun to watch when he plays like that. There's nobody. I mean, granted, Jakob Pertl, I, I don't even know that that would have done anything last night. He's just unstoppable. But there will be changes, Chandler, and will they be too big to overcome? I don't think so. And I think LeBron is good enough and smart enough to see what's happening, to see him kind of come into his, you know, this this – basically this monster he's become the last three games and LeBron is the one player that will continue to feed him. He'll continue to go through him. Um, and I got to say the the depth, the, the Thomas Bryant and Schroeder back healthy. I, I kind of made a joke earlier about, you know, Thomas Bryant, that's, he's the savior, but he looked really good last night and, yeah. and you're seeing the deeper the team goes and, and the, you know, the, the, you know, the longer these bench guys can stay in the game and keep the lead, it really helps these teams. And Schroeder looks good. Austin Reeves looks good. And, and nice. yeah, I think, and I think LeBron is the perfect guy to come back to continue to go through Anthony Davis. Thomas Bryant was five and five bubble? last night. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Was just, Thomas Bryant was five of five last night, by the right. way. Yeah. And so no, they got, they got something going on, but yeah, go ahead. Sean. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I saw AD in the bubble, and this is the type of performance and, and th that he was having on a nightly basis down there. And then it, it kind of went away, and he was injury-riddled the following year. And last year, we know what happened. That Lakers team was an absolute uh, disaster. But how he's performing now is what everyone expected organically to happen, where he would emerge as that face. He's leading them in every major category. When we look at points, uh, rebounds, steals, assists. Um, or, or steals block. So he's doing a lot of everything um, and they need him to be dominant. Uh, yeah, it'll be an interesting week uh, to say the least. 